Hey folks, Frank DePesky here. I want to show you how we get beautiful results for our clients on even on commercial landscapes with 100% natural. Uh, we don't use any granular fertilizers. We use a proprietary blend of natural insecticides and then we make a proprietary blend of fertilizers with amino acids, kelp, sugars, humic acid, um, and just a slew of other things that we make a mix of to produce these results. But we can produce better results than the traditional spray company that does synthetic fertilizers and a lot of nitrogen, especially in Miami-Dade County, where we're now on a nitrogen ban in the summer. Um, we can't use nitrogen fertilizer. Well, guess what? We haven't used nitrogen fertilizers in 10 years. We started doing research 14 years ago on how we could get rid of using synthetic fertilizers uh, that are all synthetically derived and use more healthier um, products to improve the soil biology. It is not about just providing nutrition for plants. It is about the soil biology and if we can improve the soil biology we will use less insecticides less fungicides less herbicides produce a better result i want you to check this out this is a commercial property that looks better than any commercial property you've probably ever seen and it looks better than most residential properties i want to show you this here is the cocoa plum okay this is what a cocoa plum flower bud looks like this is what a cocoa plum fruit looks like. Have you ever seen those on cocoa plums? Look at these cocoa plums. They're absolutely perfect. There is no lack lobate scale. There is no Sri Lankan weevil damage on this. Nothing's been bitten and we only spray these every two months with our natural service. This property we've been doing it since they first got it. Look at the cocoa plum. That's what a cocoa plum looks like. All right and you can see these things are just like I said, look inside. I'm going to look inside here and see if you find any lack lobate scale. It's just not there. There is no lack lobate scale on that trunk anywhere, and they're notorious. They also get Sri Lankan weevil damage. Look at the only bite of Sri Lankan weevil damage that's there on this whole shrub. You can only see one bite. It controls better. I got people using bifenthrin and using acephate and using all kinds of you know more toxic products on their shrubs and they can't get this level of quality out of their shrubs let me show you some more i'm gonna walk over here i'm gonna show you this here's another one these are all i'm gonna show you all of them so you can see them Look, there is the only bit, and this looks like it could have been something else, but this looks like this was damaged by the equipment when they shredded. That's not Sri Lankan weevil. Nothing. Look at the cocoa plums coming out, the flowers. There's the seeds. There is no lobate scale, lack lobate scale on these cocoa plums, which is what they normally get. All right, I'm going to show you. Look over here. Same thing, look. You can look anywhere you want. I'm gonna go really slow so that you can see this shrub. All right, there's no damage. You look inside, deep inside, this is just some potassium I threw in there for this palm tree because it really lacks the potassium. But there you go, look at that. There's no, there's no lobate scale. Let's look over here, look at our fire bush flowering. All right, this isn't it. This is a commercial property that they spent a lot of money on their landscape. It's a warehouse. And they, they want a nice appearance because they have customers visiting here. This is a high, um, high retail, high wholesale um, perfume factory um, that they sell just the best perfumes in the world. And when their clients come to visit, they want them to see really nice things. So you've got that. There's your fire bush. We're gonna go all the way around the other side. And we're trying to deal with some issues here. But we're here every two months. We're not spraying this every month. People say, oh, you got to spray it every two weeks or every month. No, we're spraying commercial properties every two months. We've done it for 10 years. This is a seven-year property. Look. Look inside. There is no lack low-bait scale, which is notorious on Firebush. 
It's never had it. It's never been sprayed with a synthetic in seven years. 100% natural, viburnum. There is our um, Green Island ficus. All right, brand new leaves coming out. Look at that. On Green Island ficus, this is how far as the eye can see. This is the landscape. The Green Island ficus. There's a viburnum that we're spraying. Cocoa plum. I mean, you can see this is just a lot of layers of color. You know, these are just... Now, unfortunately, we don't do the landscaping. This is just badly pruned, but there is no scale. We're talking about insect damage. There's no scale. There's no croton scale on these. 100% natural. We've never done any synthetics with this. Whoops. That would have been funny. All right. I'm going to show you something. And I got to watch it with these roots and this narrow pathway. Somebody you're going to throw up. I'm going so fast looking at this video. I apologize. I'm going to slow it down for you. Maybe my editor can just slow it down. Um, let's go this way. Green Island ficus. Have you ever seen Green Island ficus look like this? 100% natural, guys. Let me show you. So if you're wanting to replace your existing company in your condominium, homeowners association, and switch to 100% natural, we do it all the time. Why are there pretty bare down here? Well, there's no sun reaching it. This just is the way this design. We've got all these trees, we've got the wall, and these are live oak trees, and just too much shade. But we're looking at, I just finished spraying these. You know, you can see the spray. Look at the back of those leaves. There's nothing on here. I mean, these leaves look, you know, showroom perfect. No lobate scale. Nothing. So this is what commercial organic quality looks like, which rivals any synthetic, any granular fertilized property. Seven years, there's no damage to these properties uh, that we've been managing. And I've been doing research for over 14 years on organics and biologicals and biorationals. It's just superior results. Um, this is just a caper, a Jamaican caper, that, but it's been over trimmed. As you can see, they just finished trimming it, so it's just over trimmed but it shouldn't look like this. Again, if, you're, if the quality of your landscaper isn't managing the quality of your pest control, then you got a problem because we can't fix malpractice. We can only provide a quality product and a quality service, but we can't fix malpractice. Look at these. There is no in the back of these leaves. Pick any leaf you want. There's absolutely no pests anywhere on the back of these leaves. Check these out. I mean, these things are just immaculate. They're beautiful. This is what biorational products do. This is what using kelp and using humic acid and amino acids and carbon and sugars and complex carbohydrates replacing traditional fertilizers of just NPK, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Now these products have potassium in it. They have micronutrients. They have all the manganese and magnesium and iron and boron. It's all available. Um, you know, there's are your agaves. Here is, there's your plants, they're flowering. Now we got a little bit of Sri Lankan weevil damage on this one. There you go. It isn't perfect, but it's darn better. Let me show you this one. Look at Croton. No scale. There is no scale on these Crotons anywhere, and they're notorious for getting Croton scale. Look of your Green Island ficus and Viburnum. I mean, I can stop anywhere and just take a pick. 
Look behind the leaf. There ain't nothing there. There's nothing on that stem. Let me show you Exoras. Oh man, Exoras are so difficult to green up. What do you have here? Look, you got a shoot from the live oak tree that needs to get manually removed. That's a landscape issue. You can't do a chemical for that. Let me show you. One of the most difficult plants to green up in Florida. Nothing with liquid, no granulars. I mean, look at that, brand new leaf coming out. No aphids, no mealybugs. You got flowering. Chifletta arbicola, whoops, Chifletta arbicola. They get white fly, they get scale. Nothing. None of these. This is all commercial. I mean, do you see a landscape in a residential property that looks this good um, without having to use synthetics? I don't think so. So, as you can see, folks, that getting high quality and organics, people say, oh, it can't be done. Organics are garbage. They don't work. They don't last. There's no residual. All the excuses that people have about organics because they haven't devoted themselves to it. There's a big difference between I tried a product once and it didn't work and doing research on hundreds of properties for five, six, seven, nine, ten years and proving that the concept works. Because if it works in agriculture, it'll work in landscapes, but it is about devotion. This is why we're nature pest. This is why we devote ourselves to this because other companies are offering you an organic option. They'll say, well, we'll spray your shrubs with a centria, but it doesn't really work. So if you want it, we'll substitute it for bifenthrin or acephate or, you know, acetametoprid or imidacloprid. We'll substitute it. And it's like going to McDonald's and asking for a pizza. They're just not going to be good at it. There's a big difference between being devoted to something and being totally passionate about it and proving the results year after year after year for over a decade versus somebody who is trying to dabble in it and offering you an option in case you don't you want to go somewhere else so you don't leave guys this is frank the pest geek wishing you a pestacular day do me a favor if this video has been helpful to you give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends